Hey water signs, it's Sagittarius Soltero here. I'm gonna go ahead and do your Saturday, Sunday reading here um, for the end of the weekend. What's gonna happen for you? What's your energy, uh, your person's energy, or just in general, the people around you? Um, this is general, so it could be anybody, anything here. It doesn't have to be a connection or a lover, but it can be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Do a weekend message here. Okay, I know I'm in a different location. I thought I would change it up a little bit here. Okay, so Cancer, what's going on with you Saturday and Sunday? Oh, that already fell out. It's kind of halfway, but the Two of Swords here, I feel like you're doing a lot of uh, thinking here, maybe for yourself or something else here. Um, I feel like you're putting a lot of thought into something, making a decision within your mind, of like kind of how you feel about um, maybe the situation. Or just people in general you're just kind of really thinking heavily um yeah putting a lot into it i feel like here really just kind of guarding yourself and thinking just blocking everybody out and just kind of thinking how you feel about something here let me go ahead and get some cards to clarify um, for cancer here for saturday and sunday the fifth and the sixth Okay, got the Nine of Swords in reverse, Three of Swords, Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I feel like overall, you're in this very indecisive energy here. It's like you're choosing, um, it's like you're done being stressed and upset about something here. You're sick of the burdens, you're sick of being losing sleep over a situation that you know you no longer can control here. So I feel like... Yeah, I feel like you are just sick of it. Like, you're done. Like, with these two cards in reverse, it's like you are ready for an awakening here. You're ready to think, okay, you know, I do not deserve to be upset like this, to be upset thinking heavily on this person or a situation, losing sleep over. It's just not worth it with my mental being, you know? So I feel like here's something caused you a lot of heartache here, a lot of pain, something just painful for you. And you're just sick of being upset. You're sick of having the burdens of it, being like you're stabbed in the back by the person. They're upsetting you, manipulating you. I feel like they're, they're doing you every which, every which way wrong here. They're really like hurting you in some way. They're just being maybe vindictive. They're just manipulating you, causing trouble and drama. But I feel like you're just wanting to walk away here. You know that the best decision in order for this awakening to happen and this big mental thinking, you know you need to walk away. You know you need to leave the situation. It's not doing you any purpose. You don't see anything coming of this, I feel like. You just know that, you know, you did your time with this person or the situation and it's over, you know. No more looking back and giving them a second chance. You just know, like, you are sick of being hurt and losing sleep over it. You're sick of feeling just, you know, way down and, like, you just can't. Maybe just even like high anxiety too from this person. They just cause you a lot of um, tension, a lot of stress, just bad energy here. What are three messages for cancer for Saturday and Sunday? Okay. So the first one is you are moving onto a steady and reliable path. So yeah, choosing to walk away with this eight of cups, you are walking to a better path here. This is gonna leave you feeling so much better you're gonna feel like rejuvenated after you walk away from this okay the hottest love has the coldest end so yeah i feel like with the three of let me find it here yeah the three of swords this caused you a lot of heartache and pain and you didn't maybe see it coming you didn't see this ending with this person but you know you realize it now it's there that pain is there and then all you need to do is believe in yourself and maybe the situation. You need to believe that what you're doing is the right decision. But I feel like it is with all these other cards. I feel like you know that it's something's over. Something's dying here. It's not worth fighting for anymore. You just got to throw in the towel and call it wraps, you know? What are three words for cancer for Saturday and Sunday? I feel like whatever you were thinking heavily about, it's just, it's not worth it anymore. And you realize that. You realize this person, this situation, it's not worth your stress, your anxiety. Maybe you are just like overindulging in a lot of stuff because of this person or situation. 
Okay, the word first is um, effortlessly. I effortlessly, I can't speak. I effortlessly attract opportunities each day to obtain my heart's desires, and I can do this in many ways. So I feel like, yeah, like something is just like, um, I feel like maybe somebody here that maybe didn't put effort into it, or maybe you're wanting to put more effort into your own life, and that's why you're walking away here. Then another word, powerful. I'm a powerful co-creator who succeeds in all I do each day, including. So yeah, I feel like you see your power here, what you have to give somebody. And if that person's taken away your happiness, you can't feel that way anymore. You just can't, you know? And then respond. I respond to all of situations, circumstances, events, and people with unconditional love, integrity, and excitement. So yeah, I feel like here, you know, maybe you were very like loving and nurturing to this person and they just took advantage of you all the time. They just hurt you, always betrayed you, just felt like you couldn't be like you know yourself around this person because they always were just there just to like hurt you you know okay so i'm gonna go ahead now and do scorpio okay so that's a good reading for cancer but now i'm gonna go ahead and do scorpio gosh what's scorpio's overall energy for saturday and sunday what's their overall energy with what's going on in their weekend or their personal lives here Overall energy for Scorpio. Okay. So, yeah, you got the Nine of Swords in reverse. So, I feel like you are kind of done being upset about a situation as well. So, that's good. Let me start this um, reading like that for you. I feel like, yeah, overall you're just sick of something. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Don't see a fulfillment in this. The King of Pentacles. I feel like you're getting, like, yourself back here. You feel more powerful. Um, maybe focusing more on your finances here. Let's get two more. Okay. Page of Swords in reverse. I feel like you're not offering some kind of speak to this person. You're not speaking to them. You're maybe in a... I feel like you're not even giving them the time of day of even talking to them. You maybe even block them on Facebook or something. The Ace of Cups, you see something more um, fulfilling coming your way. Something more powerful that is meant to happen for you here. So I feel like you are maybe not speaking to somebody here because you don't see some kind of investment anymore. And maybe even are wanting to move on to something better and bigger here. Maybe you have your eyes on somebody else here and you're wanting to give them your love and attention. Okay, what are three messages Scorpio needs to know for the weekend of Saturday and Sunday? Fifth the sixth. Okay, souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. So maybe um, you guys need to maybe have a distance or a time apart, not speak to each other here. Life is a great big canvas. Throw the paint on, throw all the paint on it you can. So maybe you need to see a bigger uh, picture here. Or just like have a new start in your life. Maybe the Ace of Cups, you're a new opportunity, a new start. And then adventure awaits, go find it. Okay, I feel like here, you need to maybe just be single for a while, I feel like. You don't need any long-term commitments. You need to just um, find yourself here. Like maybe get a new job, go to a new area, go travel, meet new people. I feel like you just need to maybe wait on dating around here. You need to just um, see what makes you happy for a change, you know? And go somewhere new do new experiences okay what are three words oh there's one scorpio needs to know action i take action each day towards my heart's desires and i do this in many exciting ways so yeah and feel i feel like you're, you need to take action you need to go somewhere go on an adventure grounded i'm grounded connected and clear-minded with all relationships in my life so <laughs> I feel like you need to have more um, clarity here. You need to think more clear with something. And gratitude. I have the attitude of gratitude for the many gifts within my life. And I express my, my gratitude in many fascinating ways. So, yeah, I feel like here you need to just, you know, appreciate what you have. What every day is giving you to learn. I feel like you have many more adventures coming your way, many more things you need to do, and you need to take action on it here, Scorpio, for the weekend. Have fun, go on a road trip, maybe do something you don't usually do, you know? Pisces. 
for Saturday and Sunday was going on with Pisces here. Okay, so this is going to be for Saturday and Sunday for my Pisces here for the 5th and the 6th. Bobby, come Can on. I kiss you? Here. I'm a All right, here. Here. I'm filming, buddy. Here. Okay. I love you. All right. Do you have a lot of Okay. Okay, so Pisces, it's your overall energy. Okay. You got here the seven of wands. I feel like you're feeling guarded in some situation. Or you're just um, putting your guard up. You're just kind of afraid maybe right now. Okay. Let's get more into this here. Why is the Seven of Wands here for you for this weekend? For Pisces, why is the Seven of Wands here? But the strength here, you're getting like your strength. You um, aren't allowing people to knock you down here. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. So I feel like overall, something like um, you're losing some kind of interest here though. But it's like you're getting like a clear mind of something that you walked away from here or something that you wanted to walk away from. I feel like you're getting more of a clear mind. You're not so confused on how you feel here. Like, yeah, you know, you're losing uh, maybe, like, passion with something or you don't see this as being, like, real long-term. But it's, like, you're coming to realization. And I feel like you're getting your um, your strength back. This might have to do with a job or, like, a person. You realize, I feel like, you're worth what you have to offer. Um, like, you know that your needs aren't being met here. So you're knowing, like, you're... I feel like you're not really wanting to walk away, but it's, like, you're kind of knowing, like... You're just, I don't know, like, you're just kind of trusting your instincts here. It's like you, maybe you're just wanting to get into a better situation with this person. You're not wanting to walk away, but it's like, you guys don't really want to have, to feel like you always have to, you know, be stressed out by this person. Or have, where you feel like you have to um, get away from them. Maybe you want to actually be near this person. You don't want to always feel like you have to, like, walk away or um, go in another room and hide from the person. Let's get three messages here for Pisces. Okay, so you got you are on your way to meeting your true love. But I feel like your guard's like really up though. Like you're just really defensive here. Okay, so take a leap of faith in the unknown. So maybe you're scared to take this faith and you're just guarding your heart and guarding yourself here. And then you have, I have found the one that my soul loves. So maybe you're just being very... It's somebody you really want to be with, but you're being very just closed off to this person. But it's like, you're just scared. You think that maybe it has no potential, and that's why you're guarding yourself. You don't want to walk away and leave it, but it's like you don't really see much potential of the situation. You don't want to get hurt, I feel like, here. Okay, what three uh, messages or words does um, Sagittarius needs to know for Saturday? Well, not Sagittarius. Pisces needs to know, sorry, for... um. Saturday and Sunday here. Gosh. So, feel. I feel my way through the uh, many situations, circumstances, and events that form my life. So, I feel like you're, you don't maybe want to feel emotions for the situation. You are kind of closing off on it. Attachment. I will no longer hold attachment. I will allow myself, the universe, and ascendant masters to work in harmony on all of my heart's desires. So maybe you're, you're scared because you don't want to feel some kind of bond or attachment to this person. But it's like you know like that you feel that way. You just are scared. You don't want to get hurt again by some kind of situation that happened in the past. In faith. I have faith in myself and the universe that together we will orchestrate and manifest my heart's desires. So I feel like you do have faith in the situation, but you're scared of an attachment, of a bond. You're scared to get hurt. I feel like you're scared that like, you're going to feel more for the person than they're going to feel for you. And you're just going to get hurt in the long run. But I feel like overall you need to have faith in it. Like whatever is happening is meant to happen for you. 
Okay, so water signs. That was your reading for Saturday and Sunday. Um, I hope you all enjoy your night. Thank you so much for watching. I would enjoy it if you liked and subscribed to me. Helped my channel grow. That would mean so much. Hope you all have a good night. Thank you.